Welcome to the J.R. Henry Texan Consort, a podcast that deals with the early life of George Truly. And now, reading The Catfish King's Summons is Jimmy. Seven PM Eastern at the Hendrick Mansion in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Jim and Betsy are hosting a reception for Norma Sanders. Scotty Underwood would also be there. Earlier today, Norma had gotten into a, a bad fight with her boy toy boyfriend. So she was looking forward to seeing Scotty tonight. It was an interesting it was an interesting dinner that night. Steak, baked potato, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and French toast for dessert. 7 p.m. Central. Meanwhile, JR is having a dinner, spaghetti with garlic toast and Sprite over at the Hendrick family condo with his grandmother. I just don't understand it, J.R. said. I try to say it and do the right thing, but Mama and Daddy still favor Kyle. Let me tell you something, son, Elizabeth said. I spoke to your mama today. I told her to quit this uppity attitude that she's got ever since she arrived in Washington, D.C. Your mom and daddy are coming to Dallas this weekend to see you swim against the Texas Wesleyan in Fort Worth. Thanks, Grandma, but I don't see how you pulled it off. She takes out of a bag a new tape recorder and places it near JR. Son, I purchased you this nice tape recorder for your internship this summer. If I can do that, I can make some calls and get your mama to not be so prideful and forget where she come from. Trust me, they're going to be there the front court and center to see you swim in Fort Worth this weekend. Thanks, Jared. Uh, thanks, Grandma, Jared said. <sighs> 8.30 p.m. Eastern. The party has moved to the front lounge for cocktails. Jim promised Betsy that he would only drink just one. Scotty, I'm sorry, Betsy said. We would have had your party next month, but... As it is, got a call that uh, we got to go to Dallas. Um, this month. We'll try it in June when Jim comes back. Oh, it's 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 no big deal, Beth, Miss Betsy. Scotty said. I wasn't going to tell you this, but I've already been offered dinner in Virginia, the state of uh, Andrew House. Well, now that's pretty uh, reasonable. i tell you what, Scotty. I want to invite you and Norma to the Lightfoot Wedding. Now, we purchased a vacation house um, just off of Baton Rouge, close to the Mississippi River. The, the estate is called Adelf. I'll send you the instructions and details of how to get there. I got to go to Lubbock for a few weeks to see. I got to go to Lubbock and Odessa to see my son for a few weeks, and we'll have a good time. 9 p.m. Central. JR is back in his dorm room listening to the Blake Carter show. He's deep into the Blake Carter show when a knock comes to the door. It's Stony Rosen. JR, we missed you at Cheesecake Toastmasters and the Bible study. I'm sorry, I just didn't see the use, JR said. Okay, what's going on? Stoney said. You know the situation with my family. 
I'm glad they're coming down this weekend. But I'll tell you what, it drives me crazy how they favor my brother over me. Gary, you gotta start listening to me and believe this. Family isn't always biological. It's the people that you're with that care about you. Hope you enjoyed listening to J.R. Hendrick Text Night. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the adventure. This is J.R. Hendrick saying until next time, take care. Get ready to enjoy the rest of the story. It gets easier and funner from here.